from you guys about these little rayon voile shorts that I made for the Style Maker Fabric Spring Style Tour this year. In that video, I mentioned that I had tried out a new technique on the hem in order to achieve a really nice finish on the baby hem. You know, these fabrics are super slippery, hard to work with, and doing a baby hem on them can prove to be quite a challenge and a very humbling experience. So I think I figured out a way to get a really pretty finish on your hems with less effort. <laughs> now I'm not going to say there's no effort, um, but just less effort. So what you will need is whatever garment you're working on, assuming that it is lightweight, drapey, either a silky polyester print or anything with like rayon, 100% rayon, anything like that, that you're having a hard time hemming. And then you're also going to need stay tape. Now this is not the iron on material that you usually use in hems. This is not hem tape at all. This is stay tape. Um, it is not stretchy. It's very hard and, it, and traditionally you use it in places like shoulder seams on a knit to keep the shoulder seam from stretching out. But we are going to use it as like a faux band roll. And if you don't know what band roll is, I'll try and find a link and put it in the description box, but it's basically this really wide like woven material. You line it up with the edge of your fabric, sew it on, turn it up, sew it again, and then you pull the band roll out and it leaves your hem behind without anything inside the hem. Inside the hem! <laughs> um, <laughs> did not mean to do that. This method is kind of a cheater method because we're going to follow those steps, but this stuff is going to be in your hem. Like in my shorts, I've got the stay tape in there. So that almost makes the hem act like as if it had horse hair braid in it. And horse hair braid is what you see in all the ball gowns that make the hems just like so billowy. This uh, stay tape is a lightweight material, not on a lightweight material unlike actual horse hair. So it's not gonna make it stand away from your body. You can see that there's still some drape there, but you can also see that it's, you know, kind of standing on its own a little bit as well. So I don't notice it when I'm wearing the shorts. I don't notice it at all. Um, I only notice it when I go to feel it. And even that is like very minimal, very minimal. Do you feel it in there? So give it a go and let me know what you think. Here is how to do it. Okay, so we've got our short or our garment, whatever you're working on, and I'm turning mine inside out. So you can see my finished um, inside seams there. And we've got our stay tape. Now I'm not even gonna cut off any of this. I'm just going to unroll it off of the roll as we go around here, but the idea is you lay the stay tape so that the raw edges match up. Place it underneath your presser foot. This stay tape is half an inch. So I set my sewing machine at three eighths of an inch, or I move my needle over so that it's three eighths of an inch away from the raw edge. And I'm gonna keep my fabric and my stay tape lined up with the um, edge of the presser foot and then keeping these raw edges together. And I'm just gonna sew a straight stitch all the way around this opening. The, um, the hardest part is making sure that your fabric isn't, making sure that your fabric is in line with the raw edge of the stay tape. It, it will, it's cause it's shifty. It wants to kind of weave in and out. Um, so just make sure you get it lined up really good. If it's out of line, like it is there, you just kind of push on it very gently and it'll ease its way in. And then it's very difficult for me, especially, but go slow. All I wanna do is put the pedal to the metal, but you can't, you have to go slow with this. All right, coming around to where we started, and I wanna point out that this, this stay tape does not stretch. So I'm pulling it taut um, and laying it over the fabric 
so that I'm not really touching the fabric at all, only to just make sure that the raw edges are even. I, my other hand is completely free and I will use it to kind of like push down to kind of hold it in place. But other than that, I'm not really touching the garment at all. All right, once we get around to where we started, we're just gonna stitch over the first layer just by a couple of stitches, back stitch, and then cut our threads. Okay, and at this point you have the stay tape uh, going all around the hem of your garment. You can cut the stay tape away from the garment at this point. And I will go over to my ironing board. And what I'm gonna do there is I am going to turn this all under like so. And when it gets turned under, the stay tape is what we're turning it against. So the fold line is actually at the edge of the stay tape, not at the seam line. So we're turning it under like so and pressing it so that that stay tape is in the fold of the hem. Now at this point too, you're also going to want to finish your raw edge. Don't do it before you attach the stay tape. If you do it after, then you can catch the stay tape and everything inside and you get a nice clean line with your serger uh, knife. So that is what I will do next. And then go press all of this up along the stay tape. And because this stay tape is kind of a little bit stiff, you can you will be able to feel it. You can feel it want to turn over on itself. Can you see how it's like flipping over almost on its own once I get past the 90 degree angle? Yeah, it just, it kind of wants to do it on your own. It's very subtle, but you'll feel it once you start um, working with it. So let me go um, search the raw edge, press up the hem, and then I'll show you the final step. All right, we are back. This is what we've got. We have our surged raw edge. We've got a little fold creased uh, by our iron. And on the inside, we've got the stay tape nicely locked in with our serger stitches or zigzag, whatever you're using, the original seam that we use to attach the stay tape to the garment. And then you can see the stay tape is like inside that little fold that is there. We folded right along the edge of the stay tape. So I like to start at the side seam or the crotch seam if you're making a pair of pants. I will do it also uh, with the right side up feel free to do it the other way around if you wanna be extra sure that you're catching. But the thing of it is, is that because our stay tape is half an inch wide and we've folded along that half inch mark, I know that this hem is half an inch deep, so I can sew it at three eighths and I will just barely be catching the um, raw edge of the hem. But again, if you're more comfortable doing it the other way around, by all means. So I'm just gonna um, place my uh, fabric at the edge of my presser foot. Again, I have it set so the needle is 3 eighths of an inch away from the edge of the presser foot. And we will just stitch all the way around the opening. So it is much, much easier to sew now because again, the stay tape is not stretchy. It's not shifty anymore because the stay tape is in there. The only thing you have to worry about is that, you know, your hem doesn't bubble up like this. So I am pulling with this hand, pulling it taut, at the same time kind of smoothing it over like so, and that is getting me a nice flat hem. And again, go slow. Okay, stitch past where you started stitching a little bit. Back stitch a couple of stitches. And you are done. This is the result, as you can see from the pair I already showed you, but also um, this is what it looks like. I'll give it one final press and that'll get out some, a little bit of these wrinkles here. And that's that. It looks, you know, completely normal on the inside looks great on the outside. And what no one will know is that you've got a little bit of stabilizer on the inside of this hem. So as you can see, it is a very simple method. It's not difficult to do at all. Obviously there's a cost involved because you know, you have to 
buy extra stay tape, but stay tape isn't super expensive and it's no more expensive than actual band roll will be. And if you can produce a garment that you really, really love afterwards, then isn't that worth a couple of extra bucks? That's how I talk myself into <laughs> spending more money on my projects. Um, but hopefully you guys will give this a go on your next rayon project, whether it be shorts, a top, a skirt, whatever it is. I'd love to know what you think of it. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any additional questions about this. Um, and then reach out to me on social at Inside the Hem anywhere. Um, at Inside the Hem, comma, everywhere um, after you give this method a try and let me know what you think. But that is going to do it for me today. I will see you all very soon. Bye.